we will see uh, the form validation okay so in this form page you can see the email address label with a one field okay. and there is no validation here if i submit the form processing done okay so let's try to put some validation like required field okay so in moodle if you open the moodle form api the validation are done through in moodle by using add rule okay so so these are the validation types you can uh, apply this validation using the add rule function like require max length so these are the So let's go let's try to put this required thing here first okay so this will be basically the name in my case it remains the same so no need to change here so the validation type could be client either client or server okay so let's refresh this page you will see here a red button will be added Yes. and this is this will appear once on a form so let's add another field here say name you can pass the, your custom message here okay like the name is required let's refresh again okay so we can see we, whenever you use any validation this will be added in front of label okay and after completing all the fields and the submit button this require will be added on your form page okay so let's try to submit here nothing is working why because i hmm, save this Why it is not working? Because the value is already coming here. So, setting up default part, I am removing here. So, let's again. Okay. So, you can see a missing email address name is required. So, I have used the server validation. If you put the client here, the validation will be done on client side. That means after the submit, this page will not be loaded. Okay. So this will not be loaded completely. Okay. So sometimes in interview, interviewer can ask you what is client validation, what is server validation, and which is better one. You will they will give you some scenario on the basis of scenario you have to tell which is better on either the client or the server one okay if you are putting one client and one server it will work in order okay that means this this was client first then work as a client and then after clicking it will work as a server okay you can see here after submitting uh, when the bell was empty here the form gets refreshed okay so that's it thank you thank you for watching